First of all, I've got to say, you must be delighted because you've played your part in it as well with Tony Parry, show races and the red card, and, and I want to thank you for your support, as always, with this. But it, it's it's a great thing. I mean, when he started off at Pools in 1965, we we'll get the great news is he's been in, inducted into the Hall of Fame at show races and the red card, where he's going to be flagged up as a, as a name all around the UK now. So tell us a bit about your memories of him and your thoughts on the award. It's wonderful for Tony Parry's efforts to be recognised, and it, it deservingly so as well, because he was a pioneer, you know, um, in, in the early 60s. 60s, you know, when we first saw Tony Parry, you know, there weren't many black players playing the game, and there certainly weren't many black players playing the game in the North East, or indeed at the level he was. You know, there was abuse. There was no question about it. Where you went to away games, there, there would be racial abuse, but Tony never, ever let it upset his his game. He, uh, he played the game a, a bit like a lower division Beckham bar, if you like. I always remember he strolled through matches. He had a great quality about him. It made everything look absolutely straightforward. Made everything look easy. You know, he's a, he's a lovely footballer to watch. And he was a great part of, of the, the Hartlepool resurgence of those years. A lot of it was built around Tony Parry. You talk about that particular season because we spoke many times in the past, uh, both on radio and, and together, talking and just chatting about the, about pools in the past. And you always reminisce and look back with a certain amount of passion. And I wouldn't say a certain amount; I say a lot amount of passion through the 1967-68 season, when, of course, history was made with promotion. And Tony Parry was part of that. Give us your thoughts on that particular season and also Tony's part as Player of the Year in it. Well, he, I mean, he was a key player, obviously. Brian Clough had recognised his, his talents and um, the club then built on it. Of course, he would be re- reunited with Cluffy. But it was, um, he was a marvellous part of what was a, a great team because we had goal scorers in the side at the, the time, as you well know, with the, the Fivians, the Mulvaney's and then the such. So we had, some, we had some smashing players, but we needed a bit of quality at the back as well. And, and that's what he gave us, a, a bit of class. And class was a rare thing because just remember that in those days, the role of a, a defender, uh, a central defender in, in particular was to get rid of the ball as uh, as far as he possibly could, as quickly as he could, as uncompromisingly as he could. But Tony could play in defence if he wanted to. He could play that holding role. We can talk about it as a holding role in front of the back four. Then he could play in midfield. He had the ability to play anywhere, really, in that midfield or at the back. And, and that was a fantastic plus point for a club like ours which had such limited resources. Of course, in those days, there weren't 23, 24 men squads. It would be pretty much the same team week in and uh, and week out. So to have a, a player as capable and versatile as Tony was fantastic. I saw to Chris Kamara recently, and he was saying it was difficult for him in the 1970s when he first started breaking into league football. But spin back to 1965 when he kicked off October 65 as Cluffy, Cluffy's first signing. It must have been immensely difficult going across the country uh, and being out on his own, basically. Very, very difficult indeed. And uh, not just going across the country, of course. But bear in mind that um, Hartlepool at, at that stage was an almost uh, exclusively Caucasian town, basically. There were um, no black at all in the town, no Asian community, or virtually none. So even playing, you know, in, in his hometown could be difficult for him at times. Uh, and, and obviously to go away as a you know member of a, a visiting football team, he, he, he took a lot of stick at times, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, he, he, he dealt with it. And he dealt with it very well because, of course, in that particular season, the history-making season of 67, 68, he was the fans' player of the year. Yeah, no, no surprise, really. I mean, it's just great tribute to him that he would be... You know, fans play the year. Normally, it would go to you know your top goal scorer. It's a natural instinct, and it still is now. You know, all the big awards go to strikers, don't they? So for, for Tony to have won the award, the fans player of the year in that season, speaks absolute volumes about him. As I say, you played your part in this, Jeff, and you've given me again support, which has been fantastic to get Tony Parry thus far. Tell me about show races and the red card. It, it, your thoughts on that? It, they're very active within the game now, very active within the schools and the, the colleges and the communities as well. Do you know much about it? Yeah, I do, you know, and I think it's a great campaign, and and, and thankfully I think the 
improvements within the game can be yeah, clear for everyone to see. Okay? I mean, obviously, I go back a long time in the games, and I, you know, I've seen some shocking examples of racism from all sorts of fans uh, as well, and I'll include Hartlepool fans in that as well. I remember going to a game at Brentford in the 80s where the behaviour of a, a minority of our fans was absolutely atrocious, humiliating, embarrassing. I felt like leaving the match because of it. You know, but thankfully... Nowadays, it's something that is absolutely not tolerated, and quite rightly so. And show racism red card has been a huge part of that. In, in terms of awareness, it's been absolutely tremendous. And, and, and thankfully, football supporters have, by and large, heeded the message and taken it on board and acted upon it as well, which it, it has been, it's been terrific for the game.